how y'all doing thanks for coming to the channel i'm gonna explain to you what to do whenever your window won't go up all right this is a 2007 honda civic uh this goes from 2006 to 2012. now first thing we need to do before you do anything you need to make sure that the motor and the regulator are good if you need to replace them test them you can send power directly to the motor um with let's say a multimeter or uh not a multimeter with the power probe uh this is my cheap one i mean it works okay it's not the greatest um power probe um the actual power probe power probe three but i blew a fuse in it so i'm using this right now the red and the blue wires connect directly to the motor all right but what you would do is you would take the door panel off go to the plug on the motor it's going to be two wires on it and give one power give one ground the window should go up, switch it around, right, get one power, get one ground, the window will go down. Simple. If that works, so you know your motor and your regulator work, we need to go to the wiring. Now the issue is either going to be in this passenger switch, it's going to be in the passenger switch, or it's going to be in the master switch, or it's going to be somewhere in between. This right here, the passenger window motor, this front, front passenger window motor, power motor. Front passenger power window motor. <laughs> All right, so remember, there's only two wires to it, the blue and the red. The blue wire and the red wire. That's the motor itself. This is the switch. Remember, the switch has one, two, three, four, five wires coming out of it. For the motor, the actual switch itself has seven or has eight. But the five, only the motor itself, the window, uses five. Two of the wires, the blue and the red, go to the window motor, and the other three our powers and grounds. Green wire, if we follow it up, the green wire all the way up, it goes to the number fuse number 30, 20 amp fuse. So since it goes to a 20 amp fuse, we know it's gonna be a hot wire. So when key on, engine off, right, this is gonna be hot. These two, the brown and the orange, are ground wires. They get their ground from the master switch. This is the master, this right here is the master switch on the driver's side. So when the key is on, these automatically get ground. So if you check these and they don't have any ground, the first place we're gonna look is the master switch, okay? Now if the master switch get ground, then we're gonna have to look in the wiring in between these two switches. But for this scenario, both of these get ground. And then the green has power again. The power comes from the fuse. So what we're gonna do is check the fuse and if it doesn't have ground, then we know there's an issue in the wiring in between. All right, so both of these on this car has both ground and power. And so the way the switch works is that you manually give it power because they have constant ground at all times. So whenever you flip the switch, all you're doing is giving this power or that will be ground or this will be power and that will be ground. That's all we're doing. All right, now let's go back to the car. So to, back, to pick up where I left off, um, the orange, the brown are going to be ground. The green is going to be power. So turn the key on and check for two grounds and a power. Now, if you, have, if you don't have two grounds and a power, then the issue is going to be between the door and the master switch, okay? The issue is not going to be over here. If you do have that, then the issue is going to be in this switch, okay? In this switch. Now, what's going to happen is you're going to plug your plug a switch in, put your your multimeter on the red and the blue, and switch, uh, flip the switch up, and flip the switch down. Whenever you flip it up and down, you should get on your multimeter a positive. 12 volts and a negative 12 volts. You want to get battery voltage over here. If you go up, it should be one number, go down, it's going to be the other number. If you don't get that, then you need to replace the switch. It's just that simple. I mean, it's really your problem is solved. Again, once you plug this in, you're going to go up, you're going to go down, and you should get 12 volts on both sides. With this issue, we get 12 volts going up, but we would not get 12 volts going down. That let me know it's this window switch. Here's a new window switch. I got it from the junkyard, that's why it's marked. And now everything works fine. So I hope this video was helpful. I imagine you, I mean, uh, you probably gonna have some other questions. Um, 
maybe I'll do another video on the master switch but thanks for watching I'll catch you next time all right um, real quick I said I'm gonna end it but real quick cuz I know some people are gonna have some questions because your switch is gonna have a lot of wires so you're gonna like you're gonna want to know like which wires go to what all right if you notice on your plug some wires are gonna be bigger some wires are gonna be lit smaller the bigger wires go to your motor the little wires go to your lock understand that the motor needs way more voltage than the lock does so you're gonna need bigger gauge wires so on this particular one you see there's eight plugs all right there's eight wires but you see how much bigger these wires are versus the other wires that's how I know which five go to my window and which three go to my lock all right so again, thanks for watching. Hope that helps. If you have any questions, leave it up underneath and I will answer it as soon as I can.